Hello my friends. So today I am here to actually film a collab video. Um, this collab was started by the Motivated Muffins and from what I know there is a whole crew of us doing it. It is a New Year New Me collab. So it is just a look back at 2016 and a look forward to 2017. Um, where we want to be, what got us to where we are, things like that. So. Um, first and foremost, please make sure that you go check out everyone else's videos. Subscribe to their channels if you are new. If you are here from one of their channels, welcome. I hope that 2017 is a great year for you. I hope you are ready to get your healthy on and get your fitness life in order. So, with that being said... 2016 has been a great year for me. Um, to take you back a little bit, I started my Weight Watchers journey in March, no, May, May of 2015. So I am at about 19 months on the program. And as of this video, the day that I am filming, I have lost 97 pounds of my 100 pound weight goal. So my 100 pound weight loss goal. So I'm almost there. I am starting the new year fresh with a new program to me. I did Points Plus when I first started and then that switched to Smart Points and recently I just started doing a couple of combined things. Um, I do a program called VB6 which is not Weight Watchers related but it was started by a man named Mark Bittman. If you would like to look up his book it is called the VB6, and that is it, um, which basically means vegan before 6 or plant-based all day until supper time. So I tried to incorporate that into Weight Watchers, and I am finding that the easiest way to do that for me is to try Simply Filling. Um, I didn't know a whole lot about Simply Filling, and I've only been doing it a couple of days, but I really enjoy it, and it's kind of the best way I have found to combine both lifestyles together, the mostly plant-based diet and Weight Watchers, which I have been struggling with. So those are kind of where I am headed in 2017. Um, I am three pounds from my goal. I would love to hit my goal I would like to hit my goal by January 1st. This is being filmed on January 30, uh, December 30th. So I don't know that I will make it. I did have a little gain after Christmas. Um, but within the first couple of weeks of January, I would like to hit my, my goal weight of 150 pounds and start working on some maintenance. Um, I am going to be doing another collab here, which is the Step Into Tracking in the New Year which I think will really help with the fitness aspect. I have a lot of toning to do after losing 100 pounds. Um, so that will be great too. Those are my big goals. I just want to be healthy. I want to be happy. I want, I want to get more exercise. I want to play with my kids more. Um, I will insert at the end of this a before a couple of before and after shots um, I have one that was taken two years ago so just a few months before I started Weight Watchers and then one that I took on Christmas this year so it's almost exactly two years difference um, I have a bathing suit shot the first picture was taken right after I started Weight Watchers, um, just a couple of weeks after I started Weight Watchers, and then the second picture was taken at the end of this past summer. So those were almost a year apart. Um, I will include those. I am almost at my one year journey here on YouTube. It has been life changing to say the least. Um, I filmed my first video in January. I didn't have it uploaded and like worked all the kinks out until 
the end of February or beginning of March of this year, 2016. So I'm almost at my one year, and the support and encouragement alone that I get from this community has kept me going. Um, any of you that have been following me for a long time or since the beginning or whatever know that I had about a six-month plateau where I couldn't go anywhere. And if it had not been for YouTube and the friends that I have made here and the subscribers that commented and gave me that positive affirmation that I needed, I would have quit because I don't have the Weight Watcher support in my everyday life. Not to say that my family and my husband don't support me, but I don't have people around me who understand what I'm going through. So the weight loss community here on YouTube, whatever program you are doing, has been amazing and it has kept me going. I have made some beautiful friends. I get so much encouragement and positive reinforcement for the work, the hard work that I am doing. Um, I work really hard to try to give that back. Um, I am a busy mom of two small children, so I do watch a lot of videos. I am not a huge commenter. Um, I've made notice to this on a couple of my videos. Um, I tend to watch videos while I am working around the house, doing dishes, cooking meals. Um, even in my on my phone when I'm grocery shopping and things like that so I'm not always able to comment um, the videos go right from one to the other to the other and I just kind of watch as they play um, if it's important and it I, I try to get back and comment on everybody else's videos but it's not always possible and I do my best to comment back on my own videos when I get comments and stuff. That's not always possible either. Um, some of my videos have a lot of comments. I do the best I can. But one goal in 2017 is to grow my YouTube channel. Um, I would like to be better about commenting and replying and doing some different kinds of videos or even just more of the videos that I make. For the most part, my channel is mostly what I ate in a day's, which I enjoy so much. They hold me accountable. Um, I look to other people's what I ate in a day's um, to get new ideas. This journey can get really monotonous sometimes, and, and you find yourself eating the same things over and over and over again because you know the points, and they're easy to make, or you've made a big batch of something. Um, but I really use the what I ate videos so if I continue with simply filling I think that part will be really great because there's not a lot out there on YouTube about what I ate in a days on simply fillings I couldn't find a lot anyways so that's kind of where my focus is I want to do more recipe videos I love to cook and I cook a lot but the filming process of cooking a recipe can be a little bit tedious with two little ones running around but I want to make more of them. I want to make more uh, grocery haul videos. So growing my channel is one of my really big goals in 2017. Um, I want to be more in contact with my survivor, my survivors, my subscribers, and I want to give them more content. I I want to know what you guys want to see. Um, and do more of that for you. So. I really want to get to goal. I want to start maintaining. I want to find the way that my eating and Weight Watchers carries me through life. Part of the other reason that I am working on Simply Filling is because I am not a track till I die person. I want to find a healthy lifestyle. I love Weight Watchers. I love the community. I love the support. I love the app and the um, the barcode scanner and things like that and I love the whole thought process behind it but I don't want to have to track until I'm 90 I just don't I want to find that balance between a program that keeps me in check and a healthy lifestyle that I don't have to think so much about so that's kind of my goal for 2017 is to find where that healthy balance is where I can 
work the Weight Watchers program and stay on track and maintain my weight and live a healthy lifestyle, but not have to track every bite and think about every single bite that goes in my mouth. So that's kind of where I'm at with moving forward. Um, this past year has just been amazing, and I hope that I can carry that through into the next year. So I hope that that is an insight to kind of where I am in my journey right now. I am kind of coming to a, I wouldn't say the end, because I don't think my journey will ever be over. Um, I have a lot of work both physically and mentally to do in this program. There's a reason that I was 250 pounds because I am a food addict and I like to eat and I am a binge eater and um, I am trying really hard to find a healthy lifestyle for not only me but for my children too. So my journey is definitely not ending but I'm coming to a crossroads um, getting to my goal actually a lot faster than I ever thought. I mean, when you begin a journey and you say to yourself, I have 100 pounds to lose, you think it's going to take me forever to lose 100 pounds. I had a six month stall. And if I hadn't had that six month stall, first of all, I don't think I would have learned the things that I learned about myself um, that I do better with mostly plant based, that I. Um, really enjoy exercise. I don't think I would have learned those things if I hadn't had that six, six month stall. But if I had, I think I would have hit my goal even faster. But to lose 100 pounds in 19 months is pretty incredible. But it also takes some getting used to mentally. There are a lot of days when I still see myself as the fat one in the group. Um, until I start looking at side-by-side -side pictures, I have a really hard time seeing the progress that I have made. Um, I have a hard time when I film. My face is always going to look puffy. I take a lot of steroids for my asthma. And one of the side effects for my steroids is swelling in my face. So when I look at the camera every day, even though my face has changed a lot, and you will see that in the before and after pictures, um, I still see a big puffy face most days. And that equates to me that I'm still fat, that I am still overweight, that I'm still unhealthy, and I'm not. And I need to get that mental part um, in check. It's really hard to go from the person you've always been to a person you've never been before, if that makes any sense. I have been overweight and struggling with it my entire adult life. I am 35 years old, and I would say since I was in high school, so 20 years, I have been the overweight person in every crowd. I have always been the largest one, and until I started looking back at pictures, I never realized how big I actually was. And that part makes me really sad. Um, but it's who I, it's the only person I know. So getting to know the new person, the healthy person, the person with a strong, healthy mind is taking some getting used to. But I'm getting there. Every day is a little bit different. Um, I have my good days and my bad days, but my mind is getting stronger and I am slowly getting to know the person that I am now the person that I still have yet to be, and the person that I'm becoming every day. So those are my goals. That's my past year. Um, 2016 was a great year for me. My whole life has changed, and that is in part due to Weight Watchers and the second part to YouTube. It has been an amazing decision for me, probably the best one I've ever made in my whole life. Um, aside from marrying my husband and having my children. Joining YouTube was probably the best decision I've ever made. And I am grateful for it every single day. So I hope 2017 is a great year for all of you. I love fresh starts and new beginnings. And 
clean slates, use it. If you have been struggling, use 2017 as a completely clean board. Start over. Set some goals for yourself. Don't aim too high. Having a big goal is great, but it is also can get really overwhelming. Start small. I want to lose 10 pounds by summer. I want to lose 15 pounds by my birthday. Whatever it is, set a big goal and then set smaller goals. Smaller goals that you can check off and attain quite easily. This program is amazing if you use it. Use your community. You reach out if you go to meetings. Share. Listen. Be part of the community and it will do magical things for you. Have a great 2017, guys. Bye!